Hello, and today we will be reviewing the mechanics for the move for Stretto. Let's get into it. To begin the move, you're going to start out in the same corner grip as Pincho. So that is achieved by placing your pinky on the farthest corner away from you, and then your thumb on the opposing corner. So just like this. So once you get to that grip, you're going to do two rotations. So your pinky is on one side, thumb on the other, and you're going to rotate that packet around twice using your other three fingers. So one, two. And that all sort of gets you set and prepared for the rest of the move and adds a nice little flair to the beginning. So one more time, just get that grip with your thumb on this corner, which is the one that is away from you, but on this side of the deck, and your pinky on the farther away side of the deck, opposing your thumb, like so. Do two rotations, and then from this point, you're going to use these three fingers to slide this top card off of that packet and around to the other side. And that's achieved like this. You're going to break from, you're going to break the top card from where it is currently contacting your thumb. So slide it out like that. And then you're going to use your other fingers to help bring that card, keep sliding it around until it clears all the way around using your pinky as a bit of an index for that rotation. And then from there, you're going to finish the move. So I'll show you that one more time, but try to show you a bit more of an exposed view. So get to that point, push off, breaking off from your thumb, using your pinky as that rotation point, bringing those around, pushing around and make sure that that card is allowed to flip and fall onto the overturned uh, initial packet. And from here, you're naturally in the grip with your pointer finger on this far side of the card with a lot of leeway. And that should give you the freedom to push that card back and land onto the base packet in your other hand. So if we get to that point one more time, push around on top, if you'll notice, my pinky especially clears out of the way to allow me to push that card back without it being caught on my pinky. So when we get to this point, just throw it back and hopefully that'll land all the way back onto the base packet. And then from there, you can close as you like. Personally, I like to keep that rotation motion and you can either go into a pincho from here or I like to rotate twice again and have those fingers fold behind. And if I'm in a Charlier in my other hand, that allows me to riffle down with my thumb and have those cards fall in. But really that is totally up to you how you want to close it. So one more time from this angle, get into your base grip, just like Pincho, do two rotations while these fingers are behind that packet, use them to rotate that card around onto the top of the packet and toss them back into your opposing hand and then close however you like. All right, we're going to review the move quickly in this over the shoulder angle. So again, you're going to start out in that corner grip, one finger on either corner, pinky and thumb, and you're going to rotate around twice. Use those fingers to peel off that top card, go around that bottom packet, and simply use your pointer finger to toss into your opposing hand. And then close as you like. Uh, just one more quick tip for you. I mentioned briefly before that I like to have my opposite hand in a Charlier when I'm catching. So I think that is a great thing to do in terms of giving yourself a bit more of a backboard with this overturned packet. So that way the card can fall a lot more easily onto the bottom packet in the Charlier. And then that gives you a clean closer right there. And then again, close as you like. 
that's how I prefer it. You are welcome to do as you wish. And that is the move for Shredo. Enjoy and have a great day.